Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doka Metal video. In this video, we're going to take a look at whether you should save or summon on the legendary summon banner that's recently come out on DBZ Doka Metal Global. Now this summon banner features three LR units, which is super interesting, and it has a one-time only discount of 40 stones on your first summon. So it's, how can I say? Yeah, pretty interesting concept. It's not new units. They are pre-existing units, uh, but the discount's always nice. Though it's not guaranteed featured or anything. Uh, and the three units in question, I would probably say are not bad. Uh, honestly speaking, they're not bad. I think the worst one out of them is Goku and Piccolo. Now you can say, oh, but which one? I mean the Goku and Piccolo that's not the exchange unit. And the reason is, is because they're just limited. But they're actually a very good unit. Them and the physical one make like a really insane pairing together. Like a really fun Goku and Piccolo themed pairing. They only have like two teams you can run them on, but still it's pretty fun. So in terms of the banner itself, uh, there are 10 characters on the banner, 10 SSRs, and three of them are the LRs. Uh, overall, they all pretty good, I would say. Uh, Goku's a fantastic damage dealer, fantastic floater. Uh, leads final trump card, which is relatively decent. All of them are 150% lead skills, so it's not it's not too crazy, it's not too bad. Uh, but Goku's really solid, I would say. Great damage dealer. Uh, really, really, really awesome animations as well. So I really like Goku. I, I you know, don't have him. I've always thought he's really solid. Uh, not insane defensively but not bad in any way shape or form and huge damage uh goku and piccolo on the other hand really good defensive unit uh, and very interesting unit just in general health recovery exchange stacking defense guard for five turns just a hell of an interesting unit uh that exists great active skill as well uh Pretty interesting lead as well. Battle of the Wits is actually not bad, and Saiyan Saga also not so bad. So yeah, I you know, personally the animations also really solid. I like the active animation. I really like Piccolo's uh, you know 18 key. I think in general just upgrade. I like this unit, like this physical unit, this Goku and Piccolo. I like a lot. Like I like a lot, a lot. Like an incredibly high amount. I like this unit. So like. I can rate these guys quite highly. I don't have them. I've used them as a friend multiple times. Uh, I, I just really like this unit. Like I, I can't stress how much I like this unit. Just the concept, everything I just think is cool. Int, uh, Goku and Piccolo, very similar. I really like the unit as well. Animations are a little bit lower on the scale for me than the physical one. But actually a very good unit. Bit more limited category wise, not so great. Lead skill wise, not so great. But in performance, really good. Actually a great second slot or floating unit. Uh, pretty helpful active skill. Pretty decent damage dealer. Solid defense after super. When you pair them up with the other Piccolo and Goha, uh, Goku, which you can actually do, they actually make a really fun pairing. So if you have both of these units, you can actually run a really, really cool pairing. Only problem is I think they only exist on two teams. I think they only exist on saviors. On saviors and on combined forces i think i could be entirely wrong of course you know not going to say that i'm right or anything but yeah i would say they only exist on those two uh but yeah overall just really really cool units that pair really well the rest of the banner is general banner units so it's you know it's difficult to say uh but you know they do have a couple good units here uh piccolo movie heroes one from a cooler movie Super tanky, awesome on the Movie Heroes team. Uh, the Gohan and Krillin, not so bad either. But then the rest are kind of okay. I wouldn't say any of them are game-breaking units. A lot of them are just kind of decent supports for mid to high-ish level content. So really it's the three LRs, the tanky Piccolo, uh, and maybe Gohan and Krillin if you don't have them. That would be pretty good. That's five out of the ten though, it's not so bad. And there's yellow coins, so obviously, again, uh, some benefit if you're a yellow coin collector. And obviously, Int Merge Zamasu has been added to the yellow coin store, so that's always a big bonus. Always really, really cool to kind of see. Beyond that, 
uh, I think it's pretty straightforward. Um, so for me, I'm going to do the discount summon now. And I'm going to get LR Piccolo and Goku, the physical one. I'm going to get them. <laughs> uh, please give them to me, man. I don't want to summon on yellow coin banners. Like, I really don't want to summon on yellow coin banners. Uh, please, please, please. Uh, AGL. Super Saiyan Go Tanks. Fantastic. Alright, well, it's, yeah, it is what it is. But basically, uh, should you summon? No. Don't summon on this banner, guys. Honestly speaking, uh, I wouldn't go deep on this banner. The three units are interesting and good, but they're not going to be matching you in value for other banners. Uh, the 40 stone discount even isn't really enough of a discount, but do it if you, you like discounts. I always like discounts, so yeah. But that's it. Let me know how your summons went. See you next time. Till then, bye.